Hello, my name is Nathan Reedy. I am a science teacher at the Excel Center in St. Louis, Missouri. And I wanted to show you a feature on CK12. This will really be helpful to um, those of you who do not speak English as a primary language, even though you're listening to me speak English right now. Thank you for making it this far. Um, uh, CK12 can be translated into lots of languages as a Google Translate tool. It's really easy to use. I know a lot of my students who don't speak English as a primary language use a translation app on their phones. Just by taking a picture of their screens, this makes things a little bit easier. So let me show you, uh, let me sh share with you CK12. So if you're a student, oh, let me go back to the beginning. There we go. So if you're a student, you'll see a screen that looks like this as a part of your CK12 website. This is the front, this is the home page of CK12. From any page, doesn't matter what page I'm on, I can scroll down to the beginning, or sorry, I can scroll down to the very bottom of the screen. Um, and here's all the links at the bottom. There's a menu right here that says select language with a Google symbol next to it. And it has, there's lots of languages available. Um, Spanish, I can click on Spanish. If I speak Spanish, that's one of um, the common second languages I hear in my school. And I can click on subjects. It takes a little, takes a second to translate it back into Spanish, but here I'm gonna click on bio, biología for biology. And so one little quirk is that when I go into the textbook section, because I used to be in ck12.org, now I'm on flexbooks.ck12.org, I might have to go back to the bottom to change this again. And it's not down there. One minute here. There we go. So I might have to go out to the bottom to change it to Spanish, for example. And so I can click on any of these chapters here. Let's go to a biology chapter about genetics. There we go. And we'll give it a minute to think about that. Give it a long minute to think about that. There we go. And now my chapter is in Spanish. Uh, you'll notice, uh, not, yep, here we go. You notice that some things are not translated. For example, these pictures are not translated because they're not text. And so if it's not a text, it will not translate. Um, but all the text has translated into Spanish. Even the captions are translated into Spanish. The practice will not. So if you're assigned to practice by your teacher, even though this portion right here is in Spanish, once I click on Avance for begin, um, or I'm sorry, for practice, I, it will not be translated into Spanish. Um, and just to show you, for some of my students who speak Arabic, there's an Arabic option, so I can even translate this into Arabic. And once again, that practice will not be translated into Arabic, but everything else is. Now, if you some for some reason come back to this website and it's not in the proper language, you can just go to the bottom of the screen and check this option right here to make sure it's in the language that you prefer. Uh, so I hope that's helpful to you. Um, I hope you guys will use it. For those of you who do not speak English as a primary language, if, if you're struggling with the language or need some help in your own language, um, if you have additional questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. And uh, if you're one of my students, you have my email and phone number to get a hold of me. And I hope you all have a great day.